there any special tips that you would give ahead of July 4th weekend? <laughs> yeah, don't come out to the lake. <laughs> My name is Richard Pickering, and I run Lake Lanier Recovery Divers. Um, I also run the Emergency Dive Response Team, which is a nonprofit that we help, that we use for uh, when we have to go out and get drowning victims. Richard and his team mainly recover items that people drop in the lake, but they're also sometimes called to assist in recovering drowning victims. And this is Ronan. He's been on my team for five years. Uh, in an average year now, we have about seven drownings on average. Sometimes we've had as high as you know 32, I think it was the record one year. Uh, but typically, it's, it's a lot lower now. And uh, out of those, we'll get calls out on, you know, if there's seven drownings, we'll have calls out on three or four. Alcohol is a big factor in a lot of accidents. Um, people are under the influence. They've had one too many. They're not paying attention like they should. And that becomes a real factor a lot of times in a lot of accidents. And we see way too many drownings because of that. I would say, you know, probably 30% of the time, the typical person will drown out there in the middle of the lake in less than 60 seconds. And a child will drown in 20 seconds. And the reason is the waves that are coming in off these big rollers, off these big boats, can be, you know, a couple feet high. And when you're out there in the middle of that, they're coming at different you from different directions. So it's not like being at the beach where you've got some waves and they're crashing over the top of you and you can time them. Mm -hmm. uh, here, you get hit with one wave this way and then another one this way and another one this way. You can never catch your breath. So you're constantly struggling, trying to stay above the water and they get tired in a hurry and uh, it only takes one big gulp of water and they're going down. So wear a life jacket. That's the main thing you can do. All right, visit GainesvilleTimes.com, link in bio for full story, and stay tuned for part three.